Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta, and in this video, I just wanted to discuss cystic fibrosis. I've seen a lot of comments in my previous video saying that the cystic fibrosis question that I discussed was wrong, and uh, there was another option, rectal prolapse, and hence uh, the option answer should be rectal prolapse. And I went over uh, and asked the people what exactly was the question, and uh, just begin the discussion. Let's first actually read a little bit about cystic fibrosis. Now what happens in cystic fibrosis as you all know there is a gene on chromosome 7 which is the CFTR gene which is essentially which is essentially codes for a chloride channel and that gene is mutated and as you know because of the gene mutation uh, the chloride channel function abnormalities occur in cystic fibrosis and the most common mutation it can be asked in your in later exam is the delta F508 basically at the 508th amino acid residue in that protein there is a deletion in the F. F stands for phenylalanine in this case. Uh, that G, uh, that particular uh, amino acid is deleted. Delta means deleted. Now what happens? Let's see the normal function as far as cystic fib normal CFTR function is concerned. In a normal gland, let's say your uh, respiratory tract or your pancreatic tract, uh, pancreatic uh, lining and everywhere, uh, CFTR causes uh, uh, chloride channel conductance from the epithelium into the lumen now when there is conductance of this chloride channel from uh, inside the epithelium to the lumen there will be a net negative charge here in the lumen now in order to maintain this positivity this chloride channel cftr also inhibits the enac channel yahan pe zyada negative charge aaya enac channel inhibit ho gaya this enac channel will get inhibited so yahan pe sodium bhi reh gaya Chloride to humne bhej diya CFTR channel se, sodium bhi rahe gaya. Sodium chloride rahe ke saath saath, along with it, ye water se absorb hona tha, ye bhi nahi hua, to lumen mein water saadha aar gaya. And that's why jo secretions hongi na, utni thick nahi hongi. Now what will happen in CF is, ye chloride bahar nahi ja paega. Kyunki chloride bahar nahi ja paega, ENA ki activity bohat zada bada jayegi. Yahaan pe chloride rahe ga, sodium bohat zada a jayega. And along with it, it will get a lot of water into the epithelium. And luminal water khatam ho jayega. Now when the lumen wat luminal water will get over, lumen can just secretions and they will become very thick. There will be an increase in viscosity of them. There will be thick secretion. And that is what is essentially causes the pathogenesis of cystic fibrosis. Ye thick secretions ki wajay se you will have your bronchiectasis, repeated infection. Because of this thick secretions, you will have your pancreatic enzyme ins insufficiency. Because pancreatic enzymes nickel hi nahi pa rahi hai type se. Because of these thick secretions, you will have your intestinal obstruction. Now some people may ask, but in sweat glands, mein to chloride is growing, or you are telling that the chloride uh, is going into the lumen. So as I said in both these, as you can see, except sweat glands. Sweat glands, mein, in fact, the uh, function of CFTR ka is to get, uh, absorb chloride along with sodium. Now CFTR gets mutated, so chloride in the sweat increases, and that's why sweat chloride is done to diagnose cystic fibrosis. With this in mind, this is thick secretion uh, leading to pancreatic and essentially leading to mole absorption. With this in mind, let's see what the actual question was. The question that I asked was, what is seen in a 10-year-old boy with the large stool, greasy stool, repeated infection, and stool fat percentage is high? What is the most common complication? What is expected after treatment? So this is the most authentic version that I have gotten from a lot of people. Ki they asked, the first they mentioned the age group, that it was a 10-year-old boy. Okay? And they asked, what is the complication? What will happen after treatment? These are the two things I've gotten. I might be wrong because I personally did not give the exam. I'll be very, well, I, I'm pretty sure nobody, nobody is giving you these answers. Actually give the exam. They are all coming from recall of what you're telling me. Yes. Now, if this is true, that the question had asked, it's a 10 year old boy and they're asking after treatment, then the options were DIOS, they are saying people were saying rectal, rectal prolapse and protein losing enteropathy. So first of all, let's eliminate the most wrong answer. Protein losing enteropathy nahi hota yaar cystic fibrosis mein. That's an absolutely wrong answer. Please get it out of your mind. The protein loss that is occurring in cystic fibrosis is because of the thick secretion leading, leading to pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. That leads to protein malabsorption. Pancreatic enzyme nahi hongi, protein digesti nahi hoga. That's why protein malabsorption hongi. Enterophyty word suggests there is a problem with intestine. No, there is no problem with intestine. Intestine can still absorb. And if intestine can still absorb, that's why pancreatic enzymes are given in patients with cystic fibrosis in order to help them absorb this protein. 
अगर ऐसा होता तो फिर हम लोग सिक्सटी फाइव प्रोसेस में कभी लाइक ए सेड इन माई प्रेवेस इडो कभी पेंक्राटिक इंसाइन सप्लीमेंटेशन देती नहीं अगर प्रोटीन लूजिंग एंटेरोपैथी हो रही होती ना आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी दिस लाइक बट आई विल बिगिन विद जस्ट एविडेंस बेस्ड प्रॉपर स्टैंडर्ड टेस्ट बुट एंड वॉट्स रिटर्न इन दो स्टेट बुक्स दिस इज रॉबिन्स लेट सी वॉट रॉबिन सेज रॉबिन सेज दैट डिस्टल इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन कैन ऑल्सो अकर इन ओल्डर इंडिविजुअल सो दैट क्वेश्चन आर मैंशन टेन ईयर ओल्ड तो डिस्टल इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन बिकम्स This will become your distal intestinal obstruction will become DIOS will become more likely, and it had also written persistent diarrhea will result in up to ten percent of children with disease. So some people will be like, "Yeah, this is because of the rectal prolapse." The answer was that. But if you go and look at other textbooks, first Ghai, your standard textbook pediatrics, what is Ghai? Ghai, look at it with attention. It says that in older age group. Mein, इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन ज़्यादा कॉमन है एंड यंगर एज ग्रुप में रेक्टल प्रलाप ज़्यादा कॉमन है क्वेश्चन अगर ये पूछा था टेन एक तो टेन ईयर ओल्ड है दूसरा उन्होंने ये भी बोला एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम कि ट्रीटमेंट के बाद क्या होगा तो ट्रीटमेंट के बाद ऑब्वियसली तुम ओल्डर एज ग्रुप में होगे तभी होगा तो हेंस क्रॉनिक इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन इन एनी वे मोर देन रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स यूर एब्सोटली राइट रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स कैन बी एन आंसर बोथ दिस कैन बी एन आंसर बट टेन ईयर ओल्ड में क्रॉनिक इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन बिकम्स अ बेटर आंसर नाउ फर्दर एविडेंस वाई इट्स नॉट प्रोटीन हेयर More than 85% of the children. This is Nelson, by the way. More than 85% of the children show evidence of protein and fat malabsorption from exogenous pancreatic deficiency. This should clear the doubt. This is not a protein losing enteropathy. Protein losing enteropathy definitely is a wrong option. Now let's look at the what Nelson seen as far as the complications is concerned. Despite appropriate pancreatic enzyme replacement, but the treatment देने के बावजूद two to five percent of patients. Will have fecal material in their terminal portion of ileum and will develop some more complete uh, obstruction. So despite giving treatment, you will have obstruction. And rectal prolapse ke case me kya likha hua hai? Yahan pe to 2 se 5 percent mention kiya hai. Rectal prolapse me to saaf likha hua hai. It's uncommon. First of all, it will occur mostly in infants and less frequently in older children. Definitely likha hua hai. Or fir likha hua hai treatment ke liye adequate pancreatic enzyme replacement, decrease this and that all will result in improvement. So, if you corroborate everything that's given in Nelson, Robbins, and Gai, you realize that if you have 10 year old, then one is the older age group. So, rectal prolapse is less common just by the virtue of the older age group. Second, if they had mentioned in the question itself after treatment, then after treatment, the rectal prolapse is not common. Because Nelson itself says close to 5 percent will still have intestinal obstruction. And now, speaking from my clinical view, from having seen cystic fibrosis patients up and close in names. इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन आई हैव सीन मेनी टाइम रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स नहीं दिखा यार मुझको आई हेवन सीन मे बी वन मैक्सिम रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स इन सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस बट इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन येस इमरजेंसी में दे प्रेजेंट मेनी टाइम्स एंड आई हैव कन्फर्म दिस आंसर विद पेडियाट्रिक पलमोनोलॉजी डी एम रेजिडेंस एंड विद माई प्रोफेसर्स हेयर आर टीम्स द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन शुड बी इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन प्रोटीन लूजिंग एंटेरोपैथी लाइक आई शोड यू बिल्कुल नहीं होता प्रोटीन लॉस इसमें माल ऑब्जॉप्शन होता है जो कि पैंक्राटिक इंसफिशेंसी की वजह से होता है रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स एंड इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन डेफिनेटली दे बोथ कैन अकर बट इफ द क्वेश्चन हैड मैंशन स्पेसिफिकली अ टेन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय विच अ लॉट ऑफ यू आर टेलिंग टेन और थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय एंड दे हैड मैंशन कॉम्प्लिकेशन आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट दैन एब्सोलूटली एंड एब्सोलूटली द आंसर इज इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्सट्रक्शन देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दिस रेक्टल प्रोलाप्स विल अकर इन अ चाइल्ड इन अ इन्फेंट यंगर एज ग्रुप विदाउट ट्रीटमेंट I hope this clears this particularly controversial question, or uh, which people are unnecessarily making controversial. Thank you. Have a nice day.